Welcome to the State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. Regular session of the Governing Council of the Republic of Western Armenia. Invitation on the occasion of the 104th anniversary of the independence of Kilikia. Armand Tatoyan submitted evidences to international journalists on Baku's criminals. Destruction of cemeteries in Artsakh, Le Figaro. Endangered cultural heritage of Artsakh, Bangasar. Works of an Armenian artist were exhibited in New Delhi, India. Levon Julfakyan was included in the Hall of Fame of World Wrestling Federation. On 22 July, the regular session of the Governing Council of the Republic of Western Armenia took place. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosian, gave an opening speech. She particularly spoke about the rights of indigenous peoples, emphasizing that Western Armenia exists and is ready to protect the rights of indigenous people. The President also spoke about the visit of the delegation of the Republic of Western Armenia to the Museum Institute of the Genocide Against Armenians. She informed them that they met the director of the museum and have many initiations related to Artsakh. Dear viewers, with pleasure I'd like to inform you that the government of the Republic of Western Armenia invites citizens to participate in the ceremony on the occasion of the 104th anniversary of the Independence Day of Kilikia. The ceremony will be held on Sunday, August 4 at 11 o'clock. This important event is an opportunity again to remember and honor the feats of our heroic ancestors who struggle for their freedom and independence of our motherland. During the event, historical reviewers are planned about the heroic history of Kilikia, speeches by artists dedicated to the rich cultural heritage of Kilikia, as well as talks and memorial ceremonies about our national values and traditions. The government noted that this event will be an important platform for past and examples of our pride to new generations. Former human rights defender Armand Tatoyan represented to international journalists the evidence of Baku's criminal acts in Artsakh and the border settlements of Eastern Armenia, the state policy of racism and hostility towards Armenians and the destruction of Armenian identity. Armand Tatoyan emphasized that the armed officers of Baku grossly violate the rights of the residents on the border. As a result, residents of the border of towns and villages are deprived of a normal and safe life. And all this happens under the direct control of Baku government. He also emphasized that if there is no punishment, Baku will continue its policy, continuously violating security and human rights in eastern Armenia. French newspaper Le Figaro referred again on the destruction of cemeteries in Artsakh. According to medieval art historian and Kukosis expert Patrick Donabedian, Baku's policy is a continuation of the 19th century policy of the Ottoman Empire with new approaches, which aimed to destroy the entire Armenian presence from the region. This was written by the French newspaper Le Figaro. They destroyed the population step by step, destroyed their inheritance or redistributed that inheritance to others. The aim was to prevent the population from returning after the exclusion and show that Armenians are strangers in their regions and have no right to these lands, states the article. From this point of view, cemeteries are targeted. These places are very important in the identity of Armenians and are related to the ancestors with their famous Hachkars, tombstones, the oldest of which date back to the 9th century. Unfortunately, were subjected to many vandalistic actions during the military operations in Baku. After Armenians departed from these places in the 19th century, the cemetery near Gustav of Aknachpur village was completely destroyed. Another cemetery located near Vazgenashen dates back to the 14th century and has several medieval Hajj cars and it has been in an intensive construction zone since 2023. According to the satellite images, a large part of the cemetery has already been destroyed, suggesting that it may be replaced by modern infrastructure. In particular, the fates of Dadivang, Ganzasar and Amaras built in the 4th century have caused the concern of the international community. Till the beginning of the 1980s, at the top of Mount Vangasar, a church was preserved in the partial destruction, which due to its venerable antiquity and fictional features was under the attention of historians, architects. 
During the Soviet years, an article was published by Jan Polsky dedicated to the Vankasar church. Along with the extensive material, the plan and photos of the church were also published for the first time. Noting the Armenian inscription and the existence of many signs, Jan Polsky, however, under the faction of the aspiration of Paku, scientists quite unjustifiably considered the church to be limestone. During studies by Samvel Garapetian and architect Ghazarian in 1986, two inscriptions were found on the northern side of the western entrance of the distorted church. Besides these two inscriptions, a number of other symbols can also be seen on the preserved walls of the church. They are mainly of two types, Armenian fonts and images. The church of Vangasar was damaged during the first Artsakh war. After the liberation of Agna, it was possible to study and partially restore the historical and cultural monuments of the area. In the fall of 2011, Artsakh Tourism Department carried out cleaning fixing works here. The partial fixing works were completed in January 2012 and a cross was placed on the dome of the church. The destroyed part of the western facet was reconstructed. It has been under the control of Baku since November 2022. Within the framework of the 46th session of the UNESCO World Heritage Committee in New Delhi, an event was organized entitled Art that Reinstates Friendship Agenda Revisited in Armenia. Copies of the 1940s paintings of Sarkis Khachaturian were shown in the National Gallery of Eastern Armenia, a famous Armenian artist who took his activities in India. Aram Hakopian, the representative of our country in UNESCO, emphasized that cultural heritage is a bridge that unites people regardless of geographical distance, linguist or religious characteristics. The pavilion of our country in which copies of authors' paintings are displayed will be exhibited until the end of the session. Now let's see what is going on in the sport world. Levon Julfakian, Armenian wrestling legend, was included in the World Wrestling Federation Hall of Fame. We learn about this from Arsene Julfakian's Facebook page. He was inducted into the United World Wrestling Hall of Fame for his exceptional achievements and contributions to wrestling both as an athlete and as a coach. He is the first from Eastern Armenia included in this category. The official award ceremony will take place on 5 August in Paris at the House of Wrestling. This was all for today. Goodbye.